outfits and today we're actually gonna play Shindelay back again in Roblox so um in this video um I am actually gonna review Ryan Akuma max level so I got this max level literally just like an, less than an hour ago or less than 30 minutes ago you guys can say but I got this way before like um what do you call it a week or two um before so just check my check out my stream and you will see it but before we get to the video make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell and smash the like button let's go into the video so in this video um, we're gonna see the first move for Ryan Alkuma. Um, this Alkuma is just one of the best Alkumas in my opinion. Just like Shindai. Um, Shindai and Ryan are just too good. Even Riser. But I like Shindai way more because it's rare. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so yeah. Let's go to the first move. So this is called Copy Style Blade Illusion. So the chakra requirements are 20k and the cooldown requirements are, uh, 20 seconds so what this one does is for like um one to three seconds or two to three seconds it'll be like um everything will be red like all the other illusions for sharing guns and then after that what it'll do is if your opponent hits you you'll instant transmit right behind him and do a big like uh a amaterasu like um what do you call it like you know itachi and um sengoku so uh yeah so let me show you guys the move right over here Okay, so this move is pretty good. Um, without mode, it did around 21k damage. Um, so it kind of reminds me of Sengoku's move where, um, you know, you bring them up in the air and then you hit them with the um black flame ball. But like you just like, but like for this one, you just go behind and then like instant transmit behind them and after they do it. So here it is. Let me just hit them. Let them damage me. See, look, right over here. I can't even use it. Look, hit me. Yeah, see, look. So, um, you teleport behind him and then do, like, at least, um, 6k three times. No, 7k three times or, um, 7k two times. Depends. But that's what it does. I'm gonna show you guys to move one more time. It's pretty sick. So, in case if you're getting damaged and you're really, like, a lot in, like, a combo or something like that, um, you can just use this move to get out of it. So, right here, boom. And after that, you stun them, then you can do whatever you want with them. But that was the first move, so let me go reset to the second move. Second move is called uh, Kalista Latent Blaze. So this one you need 15k chakra, so less chakra, and the cooldown 20 seconds, so same cooldown for the requirements. So I'm show you guys the move. So this is basically the like Chidori, but like it activates more faster and stuff. So um yeah, I'm gonna show you guys it right now. So here it is. You can run fast enough for that when you hit it right over here. It did 25k, then 16k as an effect with that range. So this one's really good with like um once it hits the opponent, it can stun them for a bit and stuff. So um it did around let's let's check let's check. Okay yeah, so it did around 42k 42k damage um with ammo, which is really shocking. Like with mode, it will do around 50 to 60k, which is really good damage. Like really good. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. Boom with that big like hitbox right over there for Chidori. That's just awesome. That's just awesome. Okay, so the last move which I'm gonna show you guys is called the um arrow blaze. So you need 25k chakra required and um the requirement for the cooldown of 30 seconds. So you need more of um there's more cooldown and chakra required for this one. So this one will like um show your uh you know full armor system and then what it'll do is it'll shoot an arrow on the ground and make like a big amateur to a uh, ball effect whatever and it'll do um let's see the damage yeah it will do 10k 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 so it does 30 to 40k damage um i'm gonna show you guys it one more time it'll just take out your full armor system and then hit um on the ground with the arrow and then make a black flame effect so i'm gonna show you guys it one more time just give me a second do, do, do. i'm just waiting for it to be done but um comment down below what is your favorite sharing gun what and why and um what do you think is the best sharing gun ever they made in the game and um our like goal will be three likes guys and thank you for 75 subs i just got a sub today i saw and yeah i'm, ha I'm really happy so let's try to move again boom 10k 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 so 30 to 40k damage and that's really good so now um since we're done with the moves let's go on with the mode and the mode is the most interesting part um this like i feel like ryan akuma is more with the damaging part like it's probably one of the most damaging type of sharing guns in the game. For um, what do you call it? Um, for Shishui's, it's more of the trickster type. Like it's more like the illusion type, where it'll trap you and then do damage. For Obito, it's the same thing too. It's really annoying when you get into the uh, warp and stuff. But it's really useful too. 
and stuff. So yeah, so let's just go on the, uh, what do you call it, the mode. So this is the first mode like every other Sharingan, 2200 um, Chakra, 2200 Tai, 2000 HP, and 2400 Nen. So um, this is the first one, so I don't think this does anything. Oh yeah, this is something. So this is the C spec. So you do block and then C, and then it's basically Amaterasu, like Itachi's last move. They copy style blaze. So it's basically Itachi's Amaterasu move. If you guys want to see that review, just check my videos down. It's a really long ago video that was made a few months ago. But um, <clears throat> sorry, mind that. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys it one more time. There, like that. Boom, 40k damage with that move with mode. No, wait, that's with mode. <laughs> Yeah, but um, you can't do it without um mode, but it does 40k damage, like that. Boom. Okay, so there's no Q spec like um every other Sharingan at the first stage. So let's go on to the uh, second mode. So this one is where the armor skeleton seasonal comes. So obviously when you hit, there'll be like a skeleton seasonal. Same thing, but just like different color. And then when you just block, there'll be like a skeleton seasonal wrapped around you. So now this one's interesting. Like there's like a different move, and the C spec changed. So like this is the C spec right over here. So like literally the same thing as the last one. There's nothing different about it. I think the last one does. I think this one does a bit less damage than the last one. Let me check. Yeah, it does like less damage, like the C spec for the mode. So um, obviously this one like does way more damage than that. So um, yeah. So let's just show it once more, right over here. Boom, but it doesn't do like um like 14 14 14k like that. It does it all in one shot and one set So yeah, um, um, here's this Q spec rate over here So it's the it's different. It doesn't hit three of the training logs like the uh first um mode like first Um C spec it actually only hits one and it's like the skeleton seasonal throwing out something like the uh um, or Teratsu, and it's really interesting. I like it. I like it. it. The damage is awesome. The damage is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Let me scare Kun after that. I'll get to the um, the Army Susano, which is the second last stage. So here it is. Let me see how much damage it is. 36k damage. Not bad. Obviously, it's gonna be less damage because like there's mode with it too, and stuff. And uh, yeah. So let's go on the Army Susano. Okay. So this one gets way more stats. Wait. Let me see the last stats. Yeah, for this stat, it gives you 2700 tie, 2400 HP, 2600 nin, and 2800 chakra. Let's go in this one. So, this one just gives you 3000 tie, 2700 HP, and 2700 nin. So, this one's, um,. Um, a bit different. This one's like the army suit and all. So here it is. Like the design is just so like unique and stuff. And look at that's so cool with the um arrow and then the uh um thing bow whatever. So here when you hit, obviously it's like um what do you call it? Just more damage with the hits and just the army suit and showing. And then after that when you block, it'll show like the uh, army suit and all. So I want to do with the C spec and um Q spec. So the C spec has not changed. It's the same thing. Um, 40k damage. Wait, what did I think my move? It was automatically yeah. But just does um the same thing. Literally the same thing. Nothing changed for the C spec. For the Q spec, um. Something did change. Actually, never, never mind. Nothing changed. It just does more damage for the um C specs and Q specs. But like, a uh, much change was for the um Q spec in the second stage. It was actually the skeleton seasonal soaring. But in like the um like third and second last stage, it's actually the armor seasonal. I uh, was showing. So let me show you it one more time right here. Boom, and then the Q spec right over here. Boom. What? But it keeps on going on, on purpose. Okay, right over here. And um, boom, I actually like that a lot. Wait, what? It did 25k, so I think it does way more damage than that. So I think it does 50k to 40k damage. I don't know. Wait, let's check that again. I don't know. I think it depends on how you hit the opponent or something like that. Let me show you guys this key spec again. Boom, I love it. It's just awesome. The black flames. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, so it does way more damage. I'm wrong. So it does around 52k damage and that's a lot of damage for the q spec so let's show the um what do you call it the um the full body perfect seasonal so this one just gives you way more stats like 2900 uh chakra actually you know what it doesn't give you more stats i feel like it gives you less stats let's check the difference 
Um, yeah, I feel like they're both equally, but um, this one gives you 2,800 tie, 2,800 nin with the 2,800 HP and 2,900 uh, chakra. So this is the full body suit. No, that's sick. Um, if you turn your graphics up, it'll look way more sick. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So this is how it looks right over here. It's just sick. That's just awesome. Okay, so here's a Q-Spec. So it's like those two slashes of black flames going on. So here it is. Never mind. I take that back. But like your arrow comes in front. And then after that will go on the ground. And then not your arrow. Like the uh, black flames will go on the ground. And then make big um, impact. So that's pretty good with the tall um, advantage. So they can do it. But I'm going to show you guys the Q-Spec one more time. One more time. So here it is again. I'm gonna touch on the ground 25, 28k, 28k, I think. Yeah, so it does all around 40 to 50k damage, and yeah. So the C spec is nothing different, I think. Oh no, it is. So yeah, this is the two slashes one. So slash once or twice, and then after that, um, we'll do uh, at least 30k damage or something like that. I'm gonna show it one more time. Oh my god, my one's gonna run out too because of the full body perfect Susano. It takes away like a lot of more. What I mean, a lot, a lot of more. But I'm gonna show you the uh, thing. Um, let's just wait. Right over here. Go on. Okay, 30k, 30k, so 60k. That's just really OP. Imagine a move from uh, Sharing Gun doing that much damage. But um, that's all the moves for now. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.